Stupid camera. Um, hello. I hope this thing's on. I, as per my promise, I'm going to try and actually speak this time. Uh, and I wonder if this thing is actually showing right now. Uh, yes, it is. Hooray! I'm going to see if I can actually see the comments this time. Whoops. Okay, this thing is actually broadcasting. Yay! Uh, so, welcome to Svet's Paper Theater, uh, episode 01. Last time I drew a dragon. Um, if this thing would actually focus, please. Thank you. Uh, this time I asked for feedback and suggestions on what I should draw and I got some good ones and one of them especially hit my heart close uh, a pegasus who falls in love with a penguin uh, that sounds like a comic waiting to happen actually uh, this will just be a illustration so the Pegasus is what I'll start with. Wow, this camera is having a lot of problems for some reason. No, not going to focus. There we go. Pegasus should have lots of shiny hair. Main, rather. 
uh, as I draw, I realize that I don't actually remember what a penguin looks like. Oops, I may have to find a reference for that. I'm not actually very familiar with horse anatomy, so uh, I'm making on the fact that a pegasus is a mythological creature and is bound to have muscles that are different from a regular horse, yes. All the horse anatomy experts are probably screaming in horror right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your feet and where they are. Very long shiny mane, why not? By the way, I got this question last time that I was drawing uh, which brush I use. Uh, it's a Pentel pocket brush. Uh, mine is very heavily used. I got it when I was back in college, um, so almost a decade ago, and it still works. Get refills for it, take care of the brush tip, and it lasts you forever, apparently. All right, now for the uh, penguin. Uh, they have like a body, right? And a beak. I feel hesitant. I'm going to look this up. All right, what does a penguin look like? Thank you. 
Oh, many penguins is what Google has. Oh, they're so cute. I am not certain what this penguin is standing on. Uh, perhaps he's floating in space, or she. Uh, or maybe it's a rock. Just a magical rock out of nowhere. Or I guess it should be ice. Unless this penguin is an adventurous penguin and actually went somewhere where it's quite warm. Yeah, he's on vacation. In Hawaii, maybe. Or somewhere else with palm trees, possibly Toronto. I'm just kidding, there's no palm trees in Toronto. Unless you're inside. Uh, now, this looks like an awkward encounter right now, but we're going to add just a little bit of expression to everybody's eyes, and this little guy is obviously sweating this encounter, and little hearts will make it unmistakable what's going on here. Oh, the things you can get away with. See, if this were a movie, you'd be hard-pressed to ever make this clear what exactly is going on here. It's like it's a horse and a penguin. What's going on? Oh, please don't kill me, uh, horse anatomy experts. <laughs> I probably should have uh, pulled up my animal anatomy book for this. 
her. Perhaps next time. Or maybe not. This is supposed to just be fun. This is a good way to relax, just doodling. It may not turn out amazing, but that's okay. Uh, all right, if he is in some tropical climate, uh, what else could we add here to the background to make it interesting? Perhaps some wonderful flowers. Ooh, oh, he's going to have a flower. His little wing here. Uh, some exotic lily. Also something I really should be looking up on the internet. But this is a fantasy exotic island. So I'm just making stuff up as I go. Ta -da! This is kind of sort of lily because I said so. Uh, all right, lily and gosh, what else? Maybe an ocean in the background, a shining, beautiful ocean. You know it's shiny because I will add sparkles. This penguin should really have a Hawaiian shirt on. Too late. Yeah, I kind of did a crappy job getting the Pegasus wings in there. But they're there. See, I'm drawing feathers. In the background. There, it's a Pegasus. I feel these hearts are not pronounced enough. How about another one? Right here. The big shine on it. There. No more ambiguity.
props are kind of really hard to draw. Again, something I should be getting reference for. Yeah, that looks like a rock, right? Right. Oh, poor little penguin. He has met his match. Has met his match. Okay, can I torture this drawing anymore? I think it's pretty much done. There. There. Signature. Ta-da! Penguin who falls in love with the Pegasus, or perhaps the other way. Um, I forget whose suggestion it was, but thank you. That was very inspiring. Uh, there were some other suggestions there as well that I liked, uh, which I may use for the future. Um, future sessions of paper theater. Also, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a commenting section somewhere. I have not been able to find it. Uh, next time I'll try, and then if anybody posted, uh, I will answer now if I can find them. Uh, and next time I'll try to open them, answer them real time. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Bye.